my name is Mary Williams and I chose the book Author Helps Out. I chose this book one, um, we got it from a free book giveaway at our daycare and I chose this because this is one of the cartoons I used to watch at when I was younger. So this is one of the books we have in our home and it's called Author Helps Out. Hey author, Paul D.W., can you help me with my shoebox scene? A diorama, replied author. Hmm. Come on. It'll be fun, insisted D.W. How do I get out of this, thought author. You code the box, said D.W., and I'll make the paper you unicorns. Sounds like fun, said mumbled author. I think bright green and big pink dots, said author. I do like to color, he thought. Looks good, said D.W. Now we can add the beads and the feathers. We're not done, asked Uncle Lincoln at his watch. Author and D.W. hummed. The beads did add sparkle, Author thought. When the diorama was finished, D.W. looked at it sadly. My unicorns don't look like unicorns, she sniffed. Hey, says Arthur, let's just make new ones. I'll trim them out and you can color them. Feathers for clouds, said Arthur, and the rainbow goes there, as D.W. It's a cloud kingdom, said D.W. proudly. Thank you for helping me. Sure thing, says Arthur. And you know what? It was fun making it together. So I thought that this book dealt with the self-esteem because D.W., at this point in the book, D.W. thought that her unicorns did not um, look like unicorns. So she began to be sad. And author helped her with her self-esteem by saying, we can just make new ones. It's simple. And then he actually respected the fact that his sister wanted him to do a project with him and he thought it wasn't going to be fun but he ended up having fun anyway um this book also shows and helps children with creativity and their imagination because they use simple things in their household um beads and a shoebox and things around the house that they use for their imagination to make a kingdom